to identify Salix alba, I'll be looking for a thick stringy bark with lots of vertical crevasses and fissures. This species is dioecious, so male and female flowers are born on separate trees. The male catkins, uh, initially coming out of a furry bud, become elongate to about two to three centimetres, yellowy with pollen. The female flowers alternate, fine grey hairs covering green uh, mini capsules with dark stigma. These female flowers then maturing to become the fruit, which are a set of green capsules along a central spindle, breaking apart to release thistle-like seed. A very noticeable feature of Salix alba is the very white appearance of the foliage and the twig. This is actually caused by a lot of fine pubescence of silky grey hairs which covers both sides of the leaf and also the twig. The leaves narrow, lanceolate in shape and as I say with covering of fine grey hairs the leaf margin ever so slightly serrate. The form of the tree is generally relatively upright and the, what you notice from a distance is this grey-white appearance of the foliage and very fine feathery foliage which moves easily in the breeze. The winter buds are alternate, they are a sort of corn brown colour covered in a fine pubescence as is the twig itself and often this will get to the point where it's very pale grey to white in colour.